let's have a look at importing layers from After Effects into Blender. In After Effects, I've imported a drone shot of a country town and I have motion tracked that clip. I'm just going to choose some points in the middle of the scene here for simplicity and then I'll create a solid and a camera. So we can select layers that we want to import into Blender. I'll select the footage layer, the camera and the solid. Go back to Blender. I have match export scale checked and this will match the scale of the Blender scene according to the export scale that you set in the export data tab. I'll leave that checked for the moment and I'll click import AE layers. So that switches back to After Effects and I actually get a warning because I didn't turn the video clip into a 3D layer. But the other two layers have been imported. So if I turn this default collection off, now we can see the 3D tracker camera. You'll notice when a camera is selected in the Import Layers tab, the camera sensor settings pop up and this is a reminder to check the size of the sensor. That's one value that After Effects doesn't allow access to, unfortunately. So I'll go back to After Effects, double click on the layer and just double check that the film size is the same in After Effects and Blender. Go back to Blender. So that is correct. If I zoom out, we can see it's quite a big scene that we've got here. And then we've got the drone and the plane, which has come in as a solid plane. Now, what if we want that solid in the center of the Blender world? We can do that in After Effects, but we actually should have done that before we created a track solid. So I'll just delete those two layers and I'll select the 3D camera tracker and select some points in the center of the scene just as an example and this time before I create a solid and a camera I actually set this as the ground plane and origin and now I'll create a solid and a camera. Now if I select the camera in the solid and back to Blender Ray, import a layers jump back to Blender. Now you can see we have another solid and that's been positioned slightly funny here. I was actually using the AE Comp Center which is not what I wanted so I'm just going to delete all these layers and make sure that AE Comp Center is turned off and I'll import again. There we go. Now that solid is at the center of the world. And if we go into camera view, and now we have the drone motion and the solid. And I'll add a background image. I already exported that clip off, so we'll add that as a background image to the camera. And we can see that that is correctly matching the scene. Now that that's in the center of the world we could add our own buildings wherever we wanted. You can see after the clip has finished it goes pink. That's just an indicator that there's no more video clip there. So it's also worth mentioning to check your resolution frame rate in this case it's actually different, should be 25 and also the frame end and duration. You can also select individual points and create nulls. So let's just do that. Let's create a couple of select a couple of points and go create four nulls. Then we have nulls at each of those positions. We can just select those, jump back to Blender import a layers and 
Now we have four tracked knolls at each of those positions. Other layers, such as solids and adjustment layers, I'll add a solid and adjustment layer and make those 3D. And we'll just move this. We can use these tracking knolls to get some kind of position. And let's rotate around Y. We can select those. And also import those layers. In this case, you'll notice that the adjustment layer and the royal blue solid have come in as planes, but they're actually parented like they were in the After Effects project too. So any parenting will be maintained in these 3D layers. The way the import AE layers works is it automatically puts any objects imported from After Effects into an AE collection. So if I rename this collection, and import one of these layers again. It will create a new collection and put that imported layer plus the, the null that it's parented to into that collection. One other important note is if you have a camera that is a two node camera instead of a one node camera then it also has a point of interest now this actually comes into blender as well so i'll import that camera and i'll just switch this collection off and zoom in again we'll focus back in on here so as you can see this camera actually has the point of interest and if we open this up the camera is parented to an empty which also has a track to constraint so if we were to animate this camera in after effects and i'll just add a another null and let's make that 3d and rotate it a bit and let's animate this camera position So you can see this animation of the camera, the point of interest doesn't actually change. So let's re-import that into Blender. We'll just delete these. So now you can see that this is animated the same way. And actually we can even bring in that solid as well. 